With the holidays right around the corner and large gatherings still prohibited, many houses of worship are finding creative ways to celebrate as a community. Ross is back with us to tell us how churches and synagogues have found a new way to holiday. Hey, Ross. You know what, you guys? During the pandemic, faith has been the lifeline for so many people to help them get through. So churches and synagogues quickly responded. Old St. Patrick's Church is Chicago's oldest church, but began using modern technology for mass before the pandemic. We were so lucky. We put in this live stream technology about five or six years ago, and it was really just a way to attract more people to Old St. Pat's, but we never knew, we, we never imagined that we would have to use it the way we're using it now. Parishioners responded in a big way. 40,000 devices were turned on Easter Sunday. We've had to do things differently and more creatively. Like, for example, our Deck the Hall concert. It's a Christmas concert that we do every year. Usually it's three sold-out nights in the church, but this year it's one night online, and we said we're going to do this for free. Other programs include a webinar on taking care of your mental health, a Zoom Christmas Story Insights, and vocalist Catherine O'Connell sharing stories. New Mount Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church in West Garfield Park is celebrating its 70th anniversary this month with special virtual events. For the holidays, they're bringing those special events to the community. The plan is to beautify the neighborhood. And it's the simple things during the pandemic. So much is out of our control. Beautifying the neighborhood with 20-foot uh, Christmas trees and decorating them and so that people can have a sense of, of joy in this season. Instead of cut trees, we're going to put in live trees and we're going to keep those trees going. More than a dozen large concrete planters and nearly two dozen trees were donated by local landscape companies for the project. Hanukkah is going virtual this year. We're doing a virtual dreidel disco for Hanukkah this year, and um, we're having a live DJ. We're having a story time with a drag queen from Drag Queen Story Hour, and just thinking about bringing fun into people's living rooms while we can. To make it more interactive, they'll drop off a Hanukkah goodie bag to families who register before the December 13th party. Families are still looking to bring community and feel part of community. We might be more creative about how we communicate to each other, how we love on one another, but the point is to love on one another. Uh, we're going to get through this, but we got to do it together. Now, all of the people at the houses of worship, the synagogues, the churches who I spoke with said that by going virtual, they were able to reach more people throughout the country and in some cases around the world, Tanya and Terrell. So they're actually finding a positive during this pandemic, which is really unbelievable and, and so heartwarming to me. It's incredible that you can actually connect with more people in some ways uh, than you could previously. Roz, thank you. Yeah, it's incredible.